what was I doing? Like, why did I think putting together like a one-tenth scale truck would prepare me to rebuild this thing? Like, why, how does that make sense? I did it, so that's the, the turning a bad idea into a good idea, right? Hi, I'm Dane, and this is my 1988 Nissan Desert Runner. I don't know, I like building things and I like fixing things. There's that element to the RC stuff, so like you get a box of basically parts and you can put it all together and then you can drive it around. The thing that attracted me to the RC truck in the first place was kind of the same thing that attracted me to this truck. I guess I kind of dabbled in Nissan hard body RCs before. At 10, thought, oh, looks cool. And then kind of kept thinking, looks cool, like until now. I did not know that I was always going to buy a Nissan Desert Runner. I didn't even know the Nissan Desert Runner existed, but I kind of stumbled across this truck by accident while looking for painting ideas for one of my RC trucks that also happens to be a Nissan hard body. I just saw it and thought it was cool and was like, why have I never seen this before? And then kind of just, you know, forgot about like the concept of even getting one. Six years later, I was just like, I wonder how much they are. I contacted some people who were selling them and they were like, oh, sorry, we already sold them. And then I was kind of already down the rabbit hole. So then I was just like, okay, let's see if I can find another one. And then I found this one that was um, really cheap, but it was really cheap because it needed the engine rebuilt. I went to a friend and said, hey, there's this truck in Nashville but like, it's in Nashville, so I don't think I'm gonna get it. And he said to me, I'll go with you. I put it on a trailer and towed it back across the border. It's very much a vehicle built for fun. Like it's kind of painted up like a toy. Six-year-old would have been like, hey, this is a really cool truck. I mean, I, it's got stickers across the windshield and stuff. Like it's, it's, it's like a toy truck. Like my 10-year-old self would be like, high five, good job. Like you did it. But yeah, it's also capable. Like I do like the fact that like you can trust it. That element of like the, the old trucks where they keep running no matter what you do to them. Like, I like that. Driving this truck feels like, I wanna say li like you're living the dream, but it wasn't a dream I had. It was very weird. It's like, like I didn't dream of like driving a desert runner. It's just kind of, but like you're in it and you're just like, I'm driving a vehicle that looks just like the toys I used to play with. The, the kid's idea of like, when you're playing with your toys, it'd be like, what if I could like get into one of these and like actually drive it around. And then like through a series of events that weren't planned at all, here I am inside the toy driving it around. So that's, Pretty cool.